Welcome everyone to the season review of the Northamptonshire Season 2. This season was a massive improvement on Season 1, without doubt. We had a promotion from Division 2 to Division 1. Uh, we finished second in the county championship. The Challenge Trophy we made the semi-final and the 20 over competition. We started really good but finished very poorly. Without further ado, let's look at the player records. So some people some people had a very uh, decent year. Uh, Newton was one of them, uh, outstanding. Uh, 267, um, his highest score in the uh, university match in the first class competition, along with three other hundreds during the season. Uh, was the pick of the first class players, batsman-wise. Uh, Rosenton and Anderton both got over a 1,000 runs. Rosenton um, very much impressed me just towards the end. He really stood up when it mattered. Anderton was a bit um, up and down. He was worked out a wee bit from season one, but it's hard to replicate that sort of form. But disappointed in Richard Levy. Uh, he averaged 34.95, 699 runs. Prefer my bats been uh, getting over an average of 40 during the season, which is a huge standard. But if we are going to win titles, we've got to ha uh, set that bar. Joshua Cobb, uh, a very good um, season from a small sample. Uh, seven games, uh, 46.38, couple of hundreds. Love of Shane uh, was a very good pickup for us, I felt. The all-rounder um, played a part. He got a good amount of runs, chipped in with a few wickets here and there. May sign him up again for next season if we can't find anything in the all-round department because that's what I'm really lacking. I just want a classy all-rounder. Then I don't have to worry about that um, side of things to sign up overseas-wise. Wakely, uh, pretty quiet season. Uh, 576 runs at 33.88. Curran, I thought, was good. Um, average of 35 opening the batting. Vasconcelos, uh Quite disappointing. He lost his spot to Curran in the end. Let's take a look at the um, wicket takers in the uh, county championship and the uh, one-off university match that we have. Uh, Hutton um, only played 10 matches, got 56 wickets. Uh, magnificent um, average too. Topley and McCurr were two signings that we um, had and they delivered. Uh, Topley coming back from a back injury, getting 48 wickets, an average of 23.83. Very good economy rate uh, as well. Uh, Mirzabani, uh, just the seven matches, but he contributed in each one of them. 33 wickets, average of 25.61. All rounder um, next on the list, 22 wickets, average of 42.95, but he was only used sparingly um, at times. And to round off everything, like Buck was good when he came in. Sanderson was down on his averages from last few years when I looked at his previous stats, but um, solid enough. Uh, Cotton was good. Anderson had his moments. Uh, he was developing um, a pretty good T20 game there for a while, pretty economical. Uh, Zayib was actually good in his two matches, with the ball, of course, disappointing with the bat for an all-rounder. Markham still got a long way to go. I'm going to have to continue working hard on him. Proctor... Got a few games, didn't really impress. Uh, Sol did a ride in the one-off game he had. And that sums up the uh, first-class season. Like, with all that, like, we deserved our second-place finishing. And it's going to be a real test uh, in uh, County Championship Division 1. Like, we're going to have to probably um, make some hard calls, uh, decisions. We've got to invest in our youth system. We've got to get some players coming through our ranks. Can't rely on the um, other teams offering up good players because you just don't know. And that's our main priority uh, there for the first class stuff. So the one day uh, season saw us reach the semi final um, with eight played, five wins and three losses in the um, group stages. And we finished first, so we automatically got to the semi final where we lost to the eventual winner in Derbyshire. Uh, some outstanding averages here. Joshua Cobb, um, pick of the batsman. Uh, he was consistent. Good strike rates as well. Richard, no, not Richard, Newton, uh, Newton uh, 53, um, his average, and that big score of 197 
Anderton was actually quite good in this um, competition, uh, average of 48.57, of course he got a um, 100. Wakeley was pretty good, uh, average 36. Lower Shane uh, was explosive. Uh, he contributed some very good knocks uh, in the one day comp and contributed a little bit with the ball. It was a wee bit expensive uh, though. Rob Coe got the seven matches. Uh, he was respectful at 31.17. Rosenton uh, was a bit um, down on his first class form, only averaging 26.67 with the bat. Levy got a few games. Uh, he did have a um, good couple of games there. Vascon Silos, uh, small sample size, case you can't really write into that. Let's look at the uh, wicket um, takers. Uh, Connor McCurr, uh, even though he was very expensive, like a fast bowler of his caliber will get wickets for you quite regularly. So he was good. Sanderson was outstanding, uh, 18.95 per wicket. Rizabani was okay, and then there wasn't too much after that, actually. Like, uh, the other bowlers so sort of didn't get too many wickets. They contributed, but um, didn't really um, didn't really um, need to be required um, with the other guys in such good form. If we can continue that challenge trophy form, it'd be quite good, but it could be up and down in sort of that format. But, yeah, um, hopefully we can at least get to the semifinals for next uh, season. Right, the 20 over stuff. And this is where we're a bit lacking. Look at the batting averages. Uh, there's only one, two standouts, uh, and that's uh, Co and Faulkner. And Faulkner got 100 too, so if you take that 100 out, his average is probably under 20 as well. The batting was a disappointment in this competition. Guys had good games and absolutely dreadful games. We were getting rolled for less than 100. It all started so well. Uh, we were top of the table with five games remaining. We needed one one out of those five games to progress. We lost the last five. There's plenty to improve on the, uh, this aspect. And yeah, look look at this. Look at this. Levy, six games played. Average of 5.33 at the bat. That is awful. Absolutely awful. Josh Cobb, nine matches, tried him, 8.44. That is terrible. Vasconcelos. It was really just brilliant performances out of the blue that got us um, over the line in some games. The bowling, uh, Topley, 21 wickets. Sanderson, 18. Sanderson was good in the limited over um, clothing. I see that Fortner was average with the ball. He provided the value with the bat. Uh, McCurr, probably a wee bit too expensive, but he got 10 wickets average 23. And not too much else with the um, bowling there. So I'm um, looking forward to season three. Uh, Signing-wise, I'm probably hoping to probably get maybe a couple more batsmen. Some of our batsmen are getting on a bit in terms of age. I'm um, thinking of Richard Levy, Wake, Clear, and whatnot. They will decline in their form, but it'll be good to keep them in the squad. Uh, there will be a few um, decisions made in terms of who we keep and who we drop. I need to get my squad size down. It's a bit too high at the moment, uh, with it being at 25, and we can't really invest um, in our coaching and uh, our physio and our youth. Which I really want to do. If we are going to um, be a very successful side, we're going to have to do those sort of things. But that'll wrap up the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the uh, review there of uh, Season 2. Season 3 uh, preview. Well, not a preview of sorts. We'll have um, a couple games. Probably have the university match. Probably have the couple of cha county championship games. We'll start with the ch first challenge trophy game in the next uh, video. So give us a like. Uh, uh, so far, so good. Um, team has progressed at least from Season 1 to Season 2. You can see the improvement. But for now, we'll catch you later.